Hello and welcome to the Blessed Word Ministries YouTube channel, um, a place where I just enjoy sharing the videos that I make to hopefully encourage and inspire um, other Christians um, as they walk in their journey with God. Um, so today I am super excited to um, make this little video to share this absolutely gorgeous Encourage Devotional Bible. Um, I was absolutely super amazed and super blessed to get this for um, Christmas um, and I was so amazed to get it because um, my 17 year old son actually looked on my Amazon list and chose to buy this for me out of his hard earned wages from his little job he has um, working at the newsagents. Um, so it's extra special to me that my son who is only 17 and works so hard to earn himself some extra little pennies and things like that um, chose to get me such a lovely gift um, for Christmas. Obviously, I, I didn't expect anything off him, um, you know, but, you know, he, he just, he really blessed me and um, brought some tears to my eyes um, when I got this, that he would think of me and get me such a gift. <laughs> um, so, um, the Bible, obviously, I had on my um, wish list was the... Um, the leather touch um, version so it is the um, higher price version as well um, but there is a different type of version which costs less just in case you wonder I think it's a hardback but this one we're going to be looking at today is the leather touch one and it's obviously in the color blue because blue is my favorite color um, so <laughs> I'm just absolutely so blessed and amazed to be able to have this to journey with um, in 2019 and um, so let's just ha have a look at the back of the box and I will hold it here for you and um, so hopefully you can have a little read um, as well but let's just have a look at some of the key features so in this Bible um, it comes with 312 devotionals um, and it comes with um, 10 distinct um, them thematic reading plans, um, 66 books introductions connecting each book of the Bible um, to the whole biblical narrative, um, stories from, uh, sorry read that again, stories of courage from 50 women of the Bible, journaling space, topic index, two column text, themed verses, specialised present present oh, I can't say my words today presentation page <laughs> oh dearie me can't get my words out <laughs> so that just lets you know some of the key features of this bible um so obviously it is in its box at the moment that it came in so I'm going to take it out and just remove the box out the way and obviously it won't be staying in its box it will be out um, on my shelf um, where I've got um, all my other Bibles let me see if I can lift it up and show you so I've got all my other Bibles stored on the shelf up there and let me reposition you carefully hopefully I haven't made you too seasick <laughs> um, so it will be up on the shelf there and it will be pulled on and off on and off on and off opened closed open closed um, loads while I enjoy using it for my study to help me grow in God um, so I'm going to just do a general flip through to you know obviously give you a better idea of what these Bibles are like inside because I quite often know that when you're looking for a Bible um, and you're looking on a Amazon or you're looking on a, a you know like a different website that sells Bibles and um, it's really hard to tell what they're going to be like um, from the pictures they share and quite often they don't really share pictures of what's inside and so you can't get an idea um, whether it's going to be a Bible that would be good for you or not so let's start with just looking at how big this Bible is I always like to just measure the Bible so people know so widthwise it is just over six inches and lengthwise it is about nine and a half inches um, so and if we turn to the lovely spine we can see it is you know about coming up to about two inches thick so hopefully that just gives you a nice idea of the size of this bible so if you're looking at it being a bible you want to carry around a lot whether it would be practical and stuff um so let's Obviously, I have got the Leather Touch Bible. Um, there is a hardback version as well. And obviously, I'm so blessed to have it in blue, my favourite colour. Thank you to my gorgeous, gorgeous son for 
buying me this special gift. So obviously as you open it up, you will have the um, normal information pages and things like that that you get in a Bible. I mean, if you're like me, you'll enjoy decorating up these pages and making them personal um, as you start your journey in this Bible and stuff like that. Um, it has a commitment page. Um, I will obviously hold it there for a few minutes so you can have a quick read or you can pause it and read. So you can um, obviously read this and um, write your own commitments and things like that there and stuff and it does carry on onto the other page and then we carry on so as I say the general pages that you tend to get in Bibles your table of contents I mean a letter from the editor um, a nice section on how to um, obviously read the Bible so it's got some great um, tips and encouragements here for how to read the Bible um, font size it is you know the standard font size that you would get in a Bible so is it around about um, font size 9 something like that I'm never sure but it's you know it's not a large font size but it's you know for me I like this font size it is nice um, to read um, so obviously there there's some more information and stuff that you can read and let's carry on and then it's got a page which just um, tells you some of the obviously features of the page of the Bible sorry um, so we've got obviously your themes um, which are your devotional themes um, your reading plans it's got re um, reflective devotionals um, women of courage um, book instructions, theme verses, and some journaling space. Um, so they are the features it shows you here. Then you turn over and it's, you know, you've got a page that gives you the guides to um, the devotionals. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, obviously themes um, for the devotionals. And um, each theme has a colour code as you can see here so obviously you can enjoy reading some more information about the different themes and then I will show you in a minute as we flip through the Bible that they are obviously you know you will be able to recognize the different devotional themes and um, by the color code the patterns um, that they show here um, obviously some information about the Christian Standard Bible because obviously this is a um, Christian Standard Bible and there we go and then we start the, obviously, Bible. So what I'll do is I'll just flip through the first couple of pages in Genesis to give us an idea or give you an idea of the Bible itself. And then you can, we'll have a general flip through. So the book of Genesis, obviously some information about it to help you learn, obviously, a bit more about the book of Genesis. And then obviously you start um, your reading your Bible and obviously it's got two columns um, and then the journaling space let me move it up a bit is along the bottom here and it has lined journaling space I mean and you've also got a nice about half an inch um, width around the text where you could enjoy adding some little doodles or some little notes as well um, depending on what you fancy or if you're like me you like to stick in some tippins and things like that you know you've got a nice space to be able to fit them stick them in and stuff like that so then obviously as I say these are one of the themed devotionals and obviously this one comes let me just put my finger in here so we can see there we go. So this um, obviously theme devotional is Second Chances. Um, so that was, and when you come across any patterned devotional like this, it would be about Second Chances. Um, so you can enjoy reading the devotional here and connecting with it and looking up the different Bible verses and stuff like that to help you grow in the Word of God. Um, and it comes with some reflection questions. And then it does actually stay here. Um, like second chances devotional reading plan and it tells you the pages to go to and stuff like that so also as you go through the bible you will find there are meet eve so you will find there are a lot some you know sections. i think they said there was 50 of them wasn't there where um you can just get to know some of the you know lady women characters in the bible um a bit better and it gives you some information and stuff like that and obviously it ties in with the second chances theme devotionals and stuff this one um just so you know but you know that is lovely and then you carry on 
and then obviously another devotional again it will direct you to the devotional reading plan for that thingy so let me just have a look if i turn i might not be able to find the right page number without headbutting the um headbutting the phone <laughs> so if i accidentally headbutt the phone i apologize let's have a look because i have have actually not had a look today is um, I've had a brief look at the Bible, but today's the first day since everybody's gone back to work and back to school that I'm actually getting it out and having a proper look at it and um, starting to use it in my studies. So I want to go to page. Da, 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 da. I will be there in a minute. I bet it's right at the back. Yep. Yep, keep going. Yep, right at the back. Thought it might be. What page number am I looking for again? Oh, I have a bad memory. I'm always forgetting things. Is anybody else like that? So here we go, look. So it's directing you to these back pages here where you can look up the um, studies for this devotional and stuff like that. So uh -huh, here we are, devotional Bible team and authors and stuff like that. And here we go. It's also telling you to go to, I can't see the numbers very well because my lighting's not very good. Three, four. Let me turn to, bear with me everybody. Here we go. Also to this page, three, four, is where, obviously, so in the back of the Bible, um, with all the, obviously, different colour-coded um, patterns, you will find the um, reading plans for the theme devotionals. So there we are, there's the second chance as well. I finally found it. Can I have a round of applause, please? Thank you. <laughs> so there we go. So they are really good. So if obviously you're wanting to follow this um, as a reading plan, you know, if you feel you're being led, you know, to a certain theme, you know, you can choose one of these plans and follow it, which is great. How about that? So they are in the back of the Bible. Um, so that is brilliant. So what I'm going to do now is, obviously I'm just going to go back to the beginning we were looking at and I'm just going to flip through some of the pages so you can just get an idea. But that is um, the layout of the Bible really. And hopefully, you know, this video will give you an idea of whether this is, you know, a Bible you think you might actually enjoy connecting with and stuff like that so I'm just oops some of my pages stuck together so here we go lots of the mute ones and obviously they do tie in um, with the themed plans you will notice the patterns and things like that let me have a look um, what was it I was just thinking I was trying to find and I bet I won't be able to find one Let's go to the go to the features page a minute. Ah, so I was just trying to see if I could find any of the themed verses, but I can't seem to find flipping through on in the video a themed verse. But they must be hiding in here somewhere, and obviously maybe they're for you to discover. That's why I can't find them right now. But they will be in there somewhere for you to enjoy looking at ah found one so here it goes so when it's obviously says there's some theme verses throughout the bible this is how you will find them so i can't remember how many they said there were shall we have a look and see um, no it doesn't say how many there are on the box so i can't tell you but that's nice to see that you've got some lovely um theme verses picked out for us to enjoy looking at there and reading and stuff as well so yes, I will just quickly flip through a couple more pages and um, give you an idea. There we go. Of the different things. Uh, there we go. Oh, let me have a thought. I just had a thought. Bear with me. And um, what I will do is um, let me just have a look. Um, what I would do is I would just quickly thought I could let you know the um, devotional themes. So you've got um, beautiful bro brokenness and um, batter together, daily grace, everyday leadership, friendship on purpose, um, 
that one's in yellow and it's a bit light um hope in the hard imperfect hospitality intentional gratitude second chances the sacred brave so they are the different themed devotional um sections you will get in this bible so that will obviously hopefully let you know if there's some things you would enjoy so oh look at that two are better than one yes amen so yes i hopefully you've enjoyed this video and you might um, now be inspired to know whether it's something you want to put on your wish list and get to enjoy yourself so i will say you know god bless and goodbye now and obviously as i always say before i leave my videos if you um want to come and find us on facebook in the bless it forward bible journaling community you are very welcome to look in the description below and you will find all the links to where you can find find us on facebook find my free um principles um on my website and stuff like that so please do have a little look there um God bless, take care and I will be back soon.